One of the most valuable features of the roof tool is the slope arrow, which enables us to generate a wide range of roof styles and designs. With this flexibility, we can quickly experiment with different models and create unique roof types. To begin, let's go to the first level and create a basic roof on the second level. I'm going to use this rectangle and I will offset it 1 meter by all of these walls. As you can see in here, we have slopes on all of these lines. So first of all, we need to uncheck these to be able to use this slope arrow. So I'm going to select all of these lines and uncheck this define slope. Now if I hit finish, we will have a flat roof, which we don't need it now. But these lines, this setting is going to be the foundation for all of the roofs that we are going to create and model in this video. So I'm going to use this slope arrow and I can create it anywhere I want. I'm going to first put it in here so we can see it better. So it has a tail and a head and if you select it in the properties section, you can see different settings that it has. So in the first part specified, we will have two options to use this. So one of them is the slope and the other one is the height at tail. The slope is very simple, you just need to select it and then assign the slope that you want. I'm going to put it on 25 cm and then I need to create it from this part to here. It should be on one of these lines or at least its tail should be on one of these lines. So I'm going to delete this one and if I hit finish and go to 3D view, you can see the roof like this in here. I'm going to select all of these walls and I'm going to attach it to this wall. So this is the very simple roof and even without using any slope arrow, you could create something like this. But if I select it and go back to first level, click on this edit footprint if i change the placement of this tail from this point to here the shape of our roof is going to be different so i'm going to hit finish and if we go back now we have the top part of this roof on this corner as you can see the highest part is in here but the other one the highest one was on one of these walls so we had like a slope on two sides of this wall on two walls but right now we have a slope on all of these four walls in here as you can see okay let's go back to first level and for the second part i am going to again create a roof on the second level with this rectangle and one meter offset of all of these walls select these lines and uncheck this define slope click on this slope arrow and this time i'm going to create it exactly from this point to the center of this line so from here to exactly this part if you select it and go back to here the other mode that we had in this part is the height at tail so with this you can assign a number for its tail and another one for its head so you can completely control this slope and in this part i am going to set the tail on the second level and level at head i'm going to set it on second level again but also we have this offset at head i'm going to set it on two meter okay you can set an offset for tail too i'm going to create it like this and also for the other part i'm going to create another one from this point to here exactly and i'm going to select it and assign the same setting for this part too level at tail on second level level at head on second level but with two meter offset okay i can copy these two arrows for this part too so i'm going to copy them to this part and if you hit finish and go to 3d view you will have another model of roof like this one so this style is called gable or gobble roof and if you want to connect these walls to the roof you just need to select them and attach them to the top like this 
this is also another type that you can create without using any slope arrow but if you want to have different slopes on these two sides you should definitely use a slope arrow so for that if you want to have different slopes or if you don't want this line to be exactly in the center we are going to select it and go to first level click on this edit footprint and for that we just need to change the placement of these parts so for example i want to set this part on 2.5 and this part i'm going to connect it to here okay and the same for the other side i'm going to move it to here and then set it on 2.5 and then move the other part to this part too you can change the settings in this part you can change the offset now if i hit finish and go back to 3d view the model is different and we have something like this the next model that you can create with these slope arrows is the a frame roof so for that we need the basic setting and i'm going to create it really quickly in this part create the slope arrows exactly the same way from the corner to the center like this another one from the other side and then since we're going to copy these parts to the other side too i'm going to select them both and in here i will set the tail level at tail on the first level and the level at head on the second level with no offset okay or you can give an offset um, we can give uh, like a two meter offset okay i'm going to select them and copy them for the other side too if i hit finish and go to 3d view we will have another model like this i'm going to select all of these walls and attach them to this roof and this is the a-frame roof that we have in here for these parts, I don't really like the shape of these edges, so I'm going to select the roof and change this rafter cut to this two cut plump. So we will have another shape in these edges, which is much better. For model number four, go back to first level and in here set the foundation. And then for slopes, I'm going to create them from this point again to the center and also from this part to here but for this model i'm going to select both of these arrows and this time the tail is going to be above the head okay so it is the opposite side since we can't create these points and these tails on the center we are going to set them where they need to be but we are going to change the value change these numbers so first let's set the level at head i'm going to set it on the second level and by default we have this three meter offset i'm going to set it on zero for the tail again i'm going to set it on second level but with two or three meter offset okay now i'm going to copy these arrows for the other side too and if we hit finish and go back to 3d view we will have a butterfly roof I'm going to select these walls and attach them to this roof and this is another cute model that we can create with these slope arrows finally for the last model let's go back to first level and create the basic settings on the second level with this rectangle and one meter offset on all of these walls okay this time i'm going to create a gable roof first and then we are going to turn it into something else so for that i'm going to create the arrows from this point to the center and also from this part to here before changing the settings i'm going to create them in this part too and then i'm going to select both of them and i need to copy them on these parts too you can either create them again from the base or you can just simply rotate them click on rotate make sure this copy is active and then just rotate them like this now i'm going to select all of these arrows okay and for its setting i'm going to set the level at tail on second level level at head on second level 
and the offset at head is going to be on 3 meter now let me hit finish and go to 3d view to see how it looks okay this is another model i'm going to select these walls and attach them to this part this is so cute this model this technique is best used for the places for the roofs that you have like other parts attached to this main part you can create another gable roof simple single gable roof and you can attach it to this part and then connect these two roofs together okay or you can create any other shape you want be it any other size or a slope that you want and you can attach them to this one so this was five different models of roofs that we created in here together and we created all of these with only one option which was a slope arrow thank you for watching until now i really hope you find this video helpful and i will see you next time